Om here on the left. Steve, uh, Om Yang Masagi ESPN. Along those lines, too, you guys have been very good at taking the very first road game this postseason. Is there anything in particular to that approach? I think just our playoff experience, uh, our guys understand uh, the importance of uh, making sure you um, you don't let your guard down, you know, in that first playoff game. So um, I think, um, you know, the, I would expect tomorrow to be really uh, competitive right from the start. We know they're going to bring uh, a level of physicality, um, you know, that that we brought last game, and uh, we got to be prepared for that. And I think, uh, yeah, it'll be – should be a great game. Anthony, on the left. Yeah, I think Clay is – like 10 of 32. Um, what has the film told you about the shots he's taken? Which ones do you like? Which ones don't you like? Yeah, I think he's just um, pressing a little bit. You know, he just wants so badly to do well that uh, he's taking some bad ones. Um, I'm not uh, particularly concerned about it because um, this isn't the first time it's happened. You know, he's uh, Clay has a way of uh, responding to many slumps or whatever you want to call them. Um, so the, the, the point of emphasis will be, you know, let's, let's make sure we get good rhythm shots early and, and, um, if we do that individually and as a team, then, uh, it puts everybody in a better position. Brandon on the right. Steve, Brandon Scoopy Robinson, Valley Sports. Um, Draymond called, uh, Wiggins the best, uh, wing defender on your team and he proved it, uh, going against Jason Tatum, despite Tatum's 28. When you look at um, just what he's been able to bring throughout the playoffs, guarding some of the best perimeter uh, players, uh, I guess for you, uh, are you surprised? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. I'm not surprised. Uh, Wiggs has shown uh, since we've had him the last couple of years that uh, he can be an excellent defender. He's got great size, length, athleticism, and um, – I think um, over the last couple of years, he's just gotten more and more attentive. Um, he's just gotten more on edge and, and uh, ready for what's coming next. Uh, I think part of it is just playing with, with Draymond and, and Steph and Clay and, and you know, playing with guys who've, who've been around uh, championship basketball and, and them really imploring him to uh, – to be that guy for us because we we desperately need needed that so you know when Wiggs recognized that was the role that was needed um you know he he really locked in and, and got better and better Tim in the middle hey Steve have you seen Jordan Poole kind of click into something or I mean he's obviously been working through a lot and especially in the finals have you seen something click for him maybe even at this finals level in the last game well, he made he made some shots last game. I think the the biggest thing with Jordan is he he just has great confidence and belief in himself, which allows him to respond, you know, to a a, a bad game or a, you know a tough shooting stretch, whatever it is. We've seen him have monster games in the playoffs. We've seen him have some tough ones, but he's never afraid. He he never shies away, and I think that's one of his best qualities. Sam on the left. Steve, we've been talking to you for a very long time about Draymond and his passion and what it does for the group. I do wonder, coming off game two, as far as that idea of him pushing the envelope, the stuff with the Celtics, the stuff with the refs, is it one of those situations where you talk to him going into game three about you know where we want the, the edge and the line to be, or do you just let him be him? How did you see no. that aspect? No, just let him be him. You know, he's... Uh... He's at his best when he's passionate and emotional, and I thought he played a great game the other night. Um, you know, he got the early tech, uh, but he left the officials alone all night. And, um, you know, the, the, the play is, is always going to be physical in the playoffs, and uh, you know, being physical is, uh, is, is part of it. So you just the main thing is you have to leave the officials alone, and, and Draymond did a good job of that. Question in the back left. Steve, um, great defensive game by Steph Curry. Do you believe his asset, he's underrated as an asset on the defensive side of the ball, and why? Very underrated. He's more physical than people give him credit for. Uh, he's really competitive. You know, he sticks with the game plan. Um, he, he's not afraid to 
stick his nose in there and be be really aggressive and uh, but he does it um, in a way that shows his experience you know he understands uh, where to draw the line um, and and um, you know there have been times over the years where he's gotten himself into foul trouble but I think he's gotten better and better in terms of not reaching and uh, and yet still being in front of his man staying in front of his man and stopping penetration Last couple of questions. Connor on the right. Uh, Connor Laterno, San Francisco Chronicle. Steve, kind of building off that, when did you really see Steph transition from being a, you know, a solid, decent defender to consistently good defensively? I think it's really developed over the last uh, three or four years. You know, um, during that stretch when we played uh, Houston and Cleveland in, in the playoffs, you know, both teams would go at him constantly and uh, he was already a pretty good defender at the time but i think he uh, he felt you know what teams were going to do i think that in turn um informed his off-season regimen he got stronger i think you can see the change in his body you know now compared to six seven years ago and uh and he's just upped his level of conditioning to the point where he can uh guard 50 screen and rolls a game and run 50 screen and rolls a game not many people could do that last question in the middle steve uh, shane young with ford sports Otto gets a lot of credit for his shot making spacing and his rebounding is there something that to you maybe goes under the radar when it comes to him and being able to fit into different lineup configurations he's just always in the right place at both ends he understands spacing on offense uh, he understands ball movement and then defensively he's um, just a a really good team defender, you know, with his rotations, uh, boxing out. He's an excellent rebounder. He's just he's just a really good basketball player. And um, with his versatility, you know, his size and his ability to switch across uh, positions, uh, he's a he's just a, a hugely valuable player for us.